Merry Christmas, boys and girls. Did an elf on the shelf suddenly appear at your house after Thanksgiving? Do you know how to take care of it? Follow these rules so you can make sure you get the best presents this Christmas. Here are some do's and don'ts. Do. Give them a good name. Pick something special to you. Talk nice to him or her. The nicer you treat your elf, the happier they are, and the better things they will tell Santa about you. Good morning, Snowflake. How was your trip to the North Pole? You're looking good today. Give them gifts. Get them some clothes to dress up in, or bake them some cookies, or give them something to make their journey back to the North Pole more fun. A happy elf will tell Santa how thoughtful you are. Hi, Snowflake. I got a tuxedo for you to wear so you look nice. Hey, Snowflake. I made you some cookies for tonight. Don't. Don't touch your elf. This is the number one rule. Its magic might go away. Daddy! Daddy! If you touched the elf, you'll need to write a letter to Santa. Write a note saying you're sorry and leave it near your elf. They will take it to Santa, which should restore its magic. I'm sorry for touching Snowflake. I hope you can restore his magic. Thank you. But what happens if you accidentally touch your elf or it falls down? Get your parents' help. They could put the elf back, and that should preserve the magic. Don't tattle on friends or family. Your elf is there to tell Santa how good you've been. Don't worry about other kids. If they've done something wrong, let their elf handle hey, it. Hey, Snowflake, my friend Nikki said a bad word today. Don't harass or tease your elf. Keep your elf happy and he will tell Santa good things. Treat them like you would like to be treated. Merry Christmas, everyone!